In Central Oregon, Kurt and his family believe they have everything a prepper family could need, except a fail-safe way to bug out. I started looking for a vehicle they'd be able to get me through any kind of broken down traffic, bad situation, possible people trying to, you know, overtake your car, take your gas, whatever, and uh, this would be the perfect rig to do that in. To begin executing his plan, Kurt purchased an all-terrain sports utility vehicle. But even with a 350 horsepower engine, the ability to off-road, and enough room to seat his entire family, Kurt thinks it's not exactly perfect for Doomsday just yet. So Kurt's invited his small network of like-minded preppers to make sure that it will be. I'm turning my SUV into an armored vehicle because I want one more level of security in the event that I have to leave this property. Okay, so, you know, let's get going. Let's start tearing it apart, for starters. Let's do this. I think we're off, Tyler. Yep, it's off. <laughs> Once the SUV is stripped of its bumper, mirrors, and door guards. The entire body of the vehicle will be encased in a steel exo cage to protect him in a rollover because Kurt expects road conditions after an economic collapse to fall into disrepair and become hazardous. Tell me when. Good job, you guys. All right, can we get the rest of this moving? Get her done. Next, Kurt wants to add armor plates and weld them seamlessly to the body of the SUV, which will create an impenetrable barrier against small ballistics. We're cutting each piece of the steel custom to each door and panel of the car and welding it on. We got five more of these to go. We got the back doors and the back windows. So let's get started. Sounds good, man. The armor plates add 4,000 pounds to the SUV, which decreases the maximum speed to only 60 miles per hour. 